So the first um, project we'll be looking at is from Middlesex University, and their repository is called Mirage. So if Sharon and Jade would like to come up. Just to say, actually, that um, all six projects will do their presentations, and we welcome questions, actually, after all six have done their presentations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we are going to do a dual act. Yeah, I do the overview of the project, and Jade is going to give you a demonstration and hopefully to uh, give details uh, regarding the technical uh, aspect. Uh, so this uh, project is mainly is about a medical image uh, repository. Uh, so uh, project communication uh, plays an important part because it's a quite a uh, subject-oriented uh, uh, repository. So we try to uh, maximize uh, the uh, uh, benefit to the community. And uh, uh, fortunately, uh, we have a, a parallel uh, project running uh, uh, at the same time, we have a, a IP7 project uh, on a, a digital hospital, a digital hospital uh, uh, aspect is similar to the uh, repository is a part of the project. So we uh, have a, a lot of communications within our 11 partners, and we are coordinator for this project. Uh, in particular, uh, we uh, have a communication with uh, a German partner. They have a similar uh, repository on uh, bone, uh, hand uh, bone uh, images. So when a person uh, gave an uh, uh, image of the hand, they, this, uh, by using content-based image retrieval uh, technique, uh, this repository can give you pretty uh, accurately your, the age of uh, that person, for example, 10 years old or uh, 40 years old. And another uh, repository we have, <coughs> excuse me, communication is uh, in uh, Switzerland. Uh, they have, have a long uh, uh, repository uh, building 3D repositories. But uh, this uh, visualization uh, takes about uh, 24 hours for this uh, just one 3D line. So, Basically, this uh, visualization is offline, not an uh, online version. And uh, thirdly, we have a uh, uh, communication with a Greek partner. Uh, they, have a, uh, they have image collections quite similar to all collections, and uh, they have a multilingual uh, uh, repository. Uh, they have, a, uh, in addition to English, uh, they have uh, the other European languages like Greek, uh, French, uh, German, yeah, a lot of uh, languages to retrieve the uh, repository and uh, hopefully give accurate uh, uh, retrieved result. And uh, uh, come back to our repository, so far we have uh, uh, managed to publish uh, three uh, articles. Uh, in particular, uh, we are using a 3D uh, texture-based uh, uh, based method to uh, do a retrieval for 3D images. Uh, in technical aspect, uh, this is uh, quite a challenge, and uh, this paper has been uh, uh, awarded the best paper in uh, this conference uh, in February, and we are uh, invited to uh, submit a uh, journal paper um, with deadline next week, uh, typically. <laughs> And uh, right now, we have a, a kind of a large uh, team. In addition to the project uh, researcher, uh, Jade, and we have uh, two uh, bio students who would like to join in. And uh, they are doing uh, user evaluations and also uh, evaluation of a classification uh, approach. And also, we have a PhD student who is working on a neurosurgery path. And, uh, the benefit is this person used to be a neurosurgeon, so give us a lot of uh, uh, clinical uh, information regarding the medical images we have uh, uh, collected. And we have uh, two uh, challenges facing this uh, repository. One is a 3D, uh, retrieval 3D images, and uh, we uh, managed to achieve that. And the next one is the uploading images, and hopefully and Jade also uh, demonstrated uh, the, uh, this work, can, uh, uh, which quite work uh, quite well. 
And the next step, yeah, it's work is not finished yet. Uh, we have a, a grid uh, computer facility at our university. And recently, we also uh, bought an ultrasound uh, scanner to, uh, to monitor heart uh, images. And uh, this, uh, we are, we hopefully, we are going to collect these images into, uh, into the repository because it's movie uh, images and uh, takes a lot of time. And uh, we also hope to uh, 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 employ uh, grid technology to, uh, uh, for these uh, moving uh, pictures to be uh, digested in the repository. And the, this the experiment, from student point of view, uh, they have uh, benefited a lot of, from both their uh, learning and from both our point of teaching, because I'm the uh, director for uh, this biomedical uh, MIC program leader. So uh, it's uh, quite a, uh, beneficial. And for the developer point of view, um, uh, it's a great experience in both, from both technical point of view and also from a learning a communicator with, uh, uh, with communities. Yeah, so Jade is going to give you the uh, technical aspect of this uh, repository. Uh, Um, because the uh, time limit, I just show the demo of our assistant. So uh, if you have some, any question about the technical part, we can dis discuss later. Um, our assistant is called Mirage. So here, this is a link to our, our server. The Mirage system uh, is uh, uh, developing uh, by uh, two Jessica funded projects. So one is the Mirage phase one is uh, create a medical, um, a medical image repository. And currently it's uh, 100,000 uh, 2D medical image in our repository and 103D uh, brain image in our repository. And uh, another is uh, create the CBRI, CBRI uh, archiving environment. That means uh, you can use the over system to index and retrieve an image based on the visual content, based on the visual similarity, such as uh, color, such as shape, such as texture. So uh, this is the fifth one. Uh, so this is a, a Mirage system. Uh, uh, but the two limit, uh, two limitation is come from the phase one. This project, the first uh, phase one, had been finished last September. So the two limit come with uh, phase one. One is uh, 3D, 3D image. You know, sometimes uh, the medical image, mo uh, most uh, a lot of medical image is uh, in 2D, but a lot of uh, medical image in 3D, such as. Uh, uh, 3D on high dimension, such as uh, 3D brain and uh, 4D ultrasound uh, image. So the old system in phase one, the 3D is, sh uh, we can show the 3D uh, in 2D image, slice by slice. So we select the 3D image, we can see. Uh, <coughs> Yeah, here, sorry. So you can see the, this is a one uh, 3D uh, brain image. It's a show slice by slice. At the last, uh, they show the montage, montage image here. So uh, this is uh, one limitation. Another limitation in, over, uh, in phase one is uh, we have the repository. Uh, uh, the student, the teacher can use the repository, the quarry, only, can, only from the repository, you cannot upload your query image. So this is a two limitation. Uh, address this two limitation, we got the fund uh, from the Jessica on the strength of the uh, take up and uh, embedding this strength. So currently we can show uh, here, we can show the 3D brain here so the 3D brain, using over the Mirage 2011, we can show the random one. 
So uh, one 3D brain is uh, in the each row. So the first uh, column is uh, uh, original image, slice by slice. You can go in detail to see to see uh, slice by slice. And also we show the 3D brain in three different uh, three different view. So you also can see inside the tissue of the brain. This one is from the back to the front. This is from the left to the right. And this is from the bottom to the top. So you can see the detail uh, inside of the brain. Another limitation is uh, the uh, phase one, we cannot upload the image as a query, but currently, okay, sorry. Yeah, currently we can, uh, the user can upload the image from the local disk and also from the internet. We can try this one. So from the internet, Uh, oh, this one. Okay, when we search, we search from the image. Uh, oh, sorry, lum x ray. Yeah, we select one. Probably this one. Yeah, okay. We select this one as a quarry. Okay, we need it to show the whole image. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, full size. I try to f uh, from the look, okay. This one, uh, this one, okay. It's real, the full size of the image. Okay, we copy this one to our system. of a system. So we can select uh, in the collection currently uh, 100,000 image. So it's a lump. So we can do the query. So this is a query image. We download from the uh, internet. We give the retrieval result. It's uh, based on the visual similarity. So this is the retrieval result. Also, we can, uh, using this system, you can uh, upload uh, image from the local disk browser. I have one query sample here. Okay, so we, you also can upload the image here as a query. So we need to, uh, we need to, okay, we select another, another collection, medical image. You can see the, uh, what, what collect, what's the image in this collection. You just uh, select a random one to see, have a look. So this is, uh, uh, random, uh, a 10 random image from this collection. So we can use in this collection, sorry, I will need to go this again, uh, to upload the query from the local disk and uh, query. Uh, this image is uh, my microscopy, the image, so you can see. 
So yeah, you can you can see the uh, retrieval result from that collection, and uh, also using our method, you can set a lot of uh, uh, visual feature. You can set based on the uh, each color based on the texture, and also this system can do the relevant feedback. If you think this one is uh, non-relevant, just uh, select this one non-relevant, so and uh, do retrieval again. Yeah. So there's a uh, two query. One is relevant, one is uh, uh, irrelevant. So retrieval result is uh, sure like this, <laughs> and. Uh, our system is uh, not only for the medical image. The our system also can do the, another kind of the image, such as a wallpaper image. We have a small collection of wallpaper image in our repository. So if you are interested, probably I can show the demo uh, later on. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.